All right, guys, what we're doing is uh, all them bolts right there is all like that and the other side. To get the C-frame off the five, okay? The thing up here looks all right. You see them caps right there? The one with the pink and the light blue on them? Okay? You remember the video that I did about the uh, okay to start? not you'll find it but okay to start we'll be looking at this while I tell you make sure everything is off and good on it I got the jacks under it they're supported and it's not gonna tip forward um, okay to start is everything's off I means start at your own risk I tell you now if you're working with shifts be sure and you check. I think everything looks good down in there. <clears throat> Everything's off over here. Be sure you check prior shift work. I don't care if I did it. You better check my work. It's for your own safety, okay? Those top caps right there. We're left loose. Now you say, hey, you know, oil won't go through there unless I tell the machine to. It works off solenoids, relief valves, and everything else. So, see what you do. You take them lines off and crank the machine. Go ahead. Do what you want. I do it my way. You do it your way. But they need to be capped and tight. Make sure the old ring's still in there when you put that cap on. Not you might have a little mess. I think what we're going to do now, though, I'm going to try to set y'all up and I'm gonna get this piece of iron right here in there with this uh, hose on it and it takes a hose machine to bend it for you. Get, try to get those bolts loose. We'll see if they come loose or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to set you up. I'll turn around and set you up and let's see if we can get them out. We'll try. That's all we can do. It's ready to come off. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna video removing it. No, everything is off. Support it. Crank your machine up. Back it straight back. Don't be a dummy. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. You don't want to turn the machine. Another thing is, a lot of people, you know. I can't get into the tracks, man. Tighten your tracks up. It'll give you some room, you know? Tighten them up. You'll get room, get in there. That's all it is to it. But anyway, let's see if those come loose. I'm gonna try to handle this uh, thing. I almost need a crane to uh, lift it for me. Cause some people know my health issues. Some people don't, I ain't told you. But I'm gonna set you up. And let's try to get them off. If they come off, you're not going to see me take the other ones off. Um, matter of fact, if I do any, there'll be pictures over on my Shop Talk page. The link will be below. A lot of good stuff there. Go check it out. You know, uh, even though you got some kids that know everything, I mean, they got two years experience and, boy, they know they don't know. I tell you, they look up everything what they should look up. I can tell you that, you know. They research things they shouldn't and things they should, they don't. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all been there. So I'm gonna turn you around and uh, I said I was. I wonder, well, tell you what. For some reason, my, uh, I got paper stuff. My, my turnaround button ain't working to me. Hold on. Stay with me. Don't. Don't fall on me now. Don't, don't go away from me. I'm going to see what we can do here. I'm hang tight. This is the way I do things. There ain't no editing. Man, straight. It's just straightforward. Come on. What you see is what you're going to get from me. Okay. Now. Let me see. 
gotta get it where it's set up there. Y'all gonna turn over. I said shit now. Hold on. Bear with me. Hang with me now. Don't go nowhere. We'll go get it. We'll go get it. I gotta get a. Uh, you want to get? Hang on. Uh oh. I hope I can. If not, I won't do it. Let me see. Oh, you know what? Man. Let's try it right there. Huh? I'll get a better setup. You know? We just, we just mess around. I'm going to change gloves. I got to go to the impact gloves on this. They're not actually impact gloves, but they're more impact than them, uh, for now, I don't know what I have, uh, vinyl, whatever the heck they are, some kind of thin plastic. I'd rather them get cut in the hands, huh? You always scratch it across something. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I may readjust the lighting a little bit, so I can have room. Okay. Got my machine all down. Man, hey, you almost, almost get cranked this thing. It's a, um, she up in there now. She, she up in there. You know what I'm trying to say? Get too old. Oh, yeah. Get too old for this mess. You know, I, oh, we don't. That kid farming, I got the uh, <clears throat> they all run from some of this shit sometimes. Oh. I'll have to tell you, you see that video. Old man, do it though. Old man, get done. Don't take it all along, but old man can do it. Old man can do it. Let's say, I told y'all. He's taking it off. So I'm just going to back straight up. You know what I'm saying? My half inch probably going to do this. But I didn't want to get, I didn't want to go through trouble getting set up my half. Then I have to go back. Catch my drift. Drifting away. Okay. Stand. Stand by me. Oh, stand by me. I like the messed up. I mean, I already messed up. I don't know. My glasses are in the way. I didn't mean for them to be there. Oh, where you at? Are you all right there? Probably out tomorrow. It's all right. Piss on them. You know what I'm trying to say? Piss on them. If I'm hurting tomorrow, I can usually take off. It don't bother me. I got it, though. Okay. So anyway, we get to the other side and uh, maybe ready to back up. You know? We'll be ready to back up. Go from there. Now I'll take some pictures and throw them over there of uh, what we're dealing with when we get it out of there. But those pins on both sides wouldn't take grease. So we uh We'll take the C-frame off. We'll do that. They, I think they tried to heat it today. They done everything they could. They said they did. Now they probably don't know what the torch is. But <clears throat> they said one of them was trying to take grease. The other wasn't. 
these auto loop systems are good, but when they're shut down and you don't have orders that grease stuff, they can get tough sometimes. But anyway, uh, I'm going to shut this video down and I may take a few beats. I'm going to post them over there with a little storyboard with it. If, if I come across something worth it, if not, y'all know what I'm doing. I ain't got to tell you. You've been there. You've done this. You know, most of you have. I don't have how-to videos, so if you if you don't know how, watch some stuff, you know? Read your books. You know? RTFB it. You don't know what RTFB stands for? Well, can't say it on here. Anyway, let me get y'all out of here. Hang on. Got my bolts. Heavy machinery I got there. They weren't very tight. I bet my half inch could take them out. But I'm I'm wired and ready to go. I got the fire hose. Come on. It's a fire hose. What I'm using. We got the air. So hey, let's uh, we'll find something else to get into, and I'll uh, I'll see some stuff over on the other side. Thanks for watching.